It's a pleasure for us to give our contribution to this conference. Just a short description of the research group. On the left there is Leonardo Paris, expert in principles, methods and instruments of photogrammetry. On the right there is Andrea Casale, scholar of visual perception and descriptive geometry. Whoever speaks is Michele Galvano, professor and research assigner, expert in parametric procedures for drawing. The aim of the research is to collect information from the web, generally photographic information, applying photogrammetric techniques to them. This means identifying tools, methods and procedures by which you can extrapolate metric and geometric information to build 3D models. Today the web is strongly colonized by social networks, so it is comparable to an immense condenser of visual information and metadata. Some experiments have been made. Wabe, Nabiker and Fungi in 2016, starting with images uploaded by some Instagram users, drew a 3D mesh model of the Temple of Bell in Syria using structure from motion techniques. I remember you that the Temple of Bell was a UNESCO site destroyed in August 2015 by the so-called Islamic State. We turn to the potential of Google Street View which, with its worldwide photographic campaign, documents the Earth, also illustrating inaccessible places with photographic devices for returning spherical panoramas. The, pro the product is a sequence of spherical views placed along a path and referenced on a map. The goal of Google Street is the formal and non-metric knowledge of urban space. A panorama is a photograph whose support is not plan but a sphere. On this is imprinted the surrounding space. The spherical image can also be projected on the plane by proposing equirectangular representations. Our goal is to give a metric value to Google Street View images. To do this you need to locate the center of the spheres in the correct position and well oriented in relation to their own axis. A widely used method for relative orientation between spherical panoramas is the one developed by Gabriele Fangi. He has developed a software that works with the collinearity equations. It relates homologous points of two images and the corresponding points in 3D space. The, start, the starting panoramic images represents the same urban space seen from different points. We do not uh, know the orientation or the relative position of the selected panoramas. On the different pictures we recognize some homologous points. Thanks to additional architectural constraints, the software created by Fungi reiterates the collinear function until it reaches the system resolution. The result is the positioning and orientation of the panoramas. After you have built the initial shooting conditions, we can use any panorama to collimate homologous pixels. Homologous lines intersect in the space at the point represented by the different images. The result is a wireframe model composed by points and then lines, extremely accurate but doesn't immediately, immediately return the perception of the represented space. Instead, we have designed a procedure that immediately returns the shape, sides and expressiveness of the architectural space within a 3D environment. Let's start from the case study. The case study is Piazza Borghese in Rome, home of our department, where there are 11 shots. With Google Maps, we go in the panorama that is in the center of Piazza Borghese. We want to reconstruct the building in front of us. 
By analyzing the views of Google, we see that the text string that characterizes the URL contains some information. In the highlighted section, there are two values that indicate the latitude and longitude of the center of the panorama. The next highlighted parameter is the angle with the north. With visual programming, we can combine textual metadata with panoramas to position and orient them in 3D space. Then we find two points on the main prospect of the building we want to reconstruct, the red and the blue dot in the pictures. They are seen respectively from the first three images and the last three images. Homologous projection lines intersect in two points chosen. The points are the extremes of a line that will be vertically extruded. So, we have, uh, we have virtually reconstructed the prospective condition of the shots. Then we choose the panorama that best sees the vertical surface and project on it the equirectangular image from its center. The new textured surface returns the true shape and the true sides of the chosen elevation. Immediately we can proceed to a more detailed modeling. The continuous projection of the spherical image from its center will help the 3D modeling process, as we are seeing in the video. Then you can add doors, windows, decoration and so on. This could be the result. By solving the case study, we have understood the condition that affect the accuracy of the result. The automatic stitching of the Google camera show alignment problems between frames that make up the panorama. The sky and the ground are areas that don't guarantee the, the data useful for a good stitching operation. Reason why the parts to, to consider for a good 3D modeling are, uh, are those close to the red line. As a central projection, the farthest areas from the center of the panorama will be subject to less accuracy. For the texturization of the elevation indicated in red, we must use the panoramas that are placed in an axial position. Now we can apply our method to cultural heritage as well. Since August 2016, the center of Italy has been hit by a series of seismic events that have completely destroyed some cities along the Tronto Valley, as Amatrice and Accumuli. Now there are two realities, a physical reality and a web reality. To the left we see the church of Sant'Agostino of Amatrice after the first shock. To the right, a sequence of images that show the church today in Wall Street View. Unfortunately, we don't have a survey to rebuild the destroyed church, but, but by applying our method, we can get metric information from the panoramas of, the, of Street View. Here you can see some views near the church, taken by Google Car. We position and orient the chosen views and build the vertical surface on which to project the image. The obtained image has the real shape and from it we can get measures. Just a look to the pa 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 parametric process. The procedure has become a real plugin that, once tested, will be made available to all interested scholars. The plugin for Grasshopper, which is the, the visual programming language used in the research, is called Oak. The steps to follow are download from the Street View, 
panoramas that best describe the, want, the wanted architecture, identify pairs of points belonging to the same elevation and with the same Z dimension. With custom components, we allow the data to flow into the main component. The ladder, starting from clear geometric conditions, identifies in 3D space the real position of the chosen elevation. Finally, we will be able to project the equirectangular image on the elevation and model the details on the architecture. Concluding, thanks to our procedure based on photogrammetic principle, we can rebuild 3D models from web informations. Benefits can also help the ordinary survey operations. In the video, however, we show how the procedure opens the door to the immense database made up of images acquired over the year by Google Street View. It will be an in indirect survey that becomes an important base for documenting and rebuilding goods with strong cultural value, destroyed by words, earthquakes or unexpected events. Just a look to the video. to understand uh, how it works. Okay. So, thanks for your attention. I hope the communication has been clear.